everybody and welcome to today's video. So today it is the 1st of June 2021 and I've just received my order of cactus plants. So today is going to be an unboxing video. So I recently ordered these from The Cactus Shed, an online website selling cactus plants based here in the UK. I think it was the 22nd of May that they reopened. So Thank you to Daz of Cacti Mania for letting me know about that. So I got straight onto the website and I ordered myself some plants. So today's batch of plants is just going to be Tabinicarpus and Epithelantha. So I've only ordered, I think, about seven plants. So let's get unboxing. These are all of the cactus plants that I've ordered. Tabinicarpus alonsoi, Tabinicarpus jarnigii, Epithelantha micromeris neomexicana, Tabinicarpus panerotoi, Tabinicarpus palaski, Tabinicarpus lophophoroides, and Epithelantha micromeris. Now I've ordered another one of these because I had one of these last year um, and it produced a fruit pod and then it just rotted and died away very quickly so I wanted to get another one of those and I also lost um, a Tabinicarpus last year as well it just completely rotted so here at the bottom I've got a free cactus plant so this is Libivia cardensiana WR498 so we should have seven cactus and then the extra free plants we've got one two three four five six seven and then eight so the first one is tabinicarpus alonsoi So wow, look at those beautiful spines. They seem to latch onto those turbicles like starfish against the rocks under the sea. The next one, Epithelantha micromeris. I'm looking forward to seeing this one again. Wow. Love the colours of these. This is so beautiful. So look at that. That is stunning. There's a little dent there on the side, so I'll have a closer look at that. I think that it's healed over, but I just hope, I really hope that this isn't going to die on me. So I just thought a second ago that I saw a fruit pod stuck to the root ball. It'd fallen onto the floor, so I've just found it. And there's another one that's a bit dry at the back there. You can see that one at the front has some seeds in there, so that's a bonus. And I did get a seed pod from my one last year, so I'm glad that I managed to save some seeds from the plant before. So there, we've got some free seeds. So this one is probably the same size as the one I had last year. So you can see the beautiful intricate spines there, and it almost gives it a white appearance because it's really covering the whole body of the cactus. And as these spines reach the apex of this cactus, they tend to brush upwards and form like a little peak at the top of the cactus. And the flowers come right out the top of this one. Oh, this is the one 
that has like a red coloration to its skin. So you can see that thick tap root there coming down. So it's all turbini carpus are very rock prone. So you have to be very meticulous about how you water them and when you water them. So this one has like a plum to purple coloured skin coloration and the texture of it is similar to Amaticana madicinorum. That's the only way I could describe it to you. It's got like a, a rough texture to it. So you can see that it has been flowering. So I'm not sure whether it's forming fruits or not. So I'll just keep an eye on those as time goes by. But they're very dried up now. And it has a very fluffy apex area. Just about see that underneath those spent flowers. So that's Tabinicarpus Jarnegi KKR561 Palomas SLP. So we'll move on to the fourth cactus now and I think this possibly could be the free plant because it looks slightly bigger than the others. Yeah, it's Labivia cardensiana WR498. It feels quite spiky. I can feel some spines coming through the package here. Oh, this looks lovely. Wow, look at those spines. That is beautiful. So just to give you an idea of the size. So it's about four centimetres in diameter, including those spines. So wow, this is a really easy to handle cactus. It does have slightly hooked spines on the end, but they are quite easy to touch without no damage to your fingers. And it has a fluffy bud on there. So again, it, it could fall off. It could abort because it's been disturbed. But we never know. And this is going to go straight under my grow lights. So hopefully that can continue to grow or it, it just might fall off. Okay, so we have four left to unwrap. Oh, can't wait to see this one. So Binicarpus lophophoroides, LAU723. <gasps> wow, that is stunning. Oh my goodness. So I can notice some slight redness just on each area of the turbicle where it's been in the sun. It's got a little bit of stress and so it looks really pretty. Epithelantha micromeris neomexicana. So this is a slightly bigger epiphanantha than what we've seen in the Micromeris. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. So here are those two epithelanthus side by side. 
So on the left hand side you've got Epiphyllantha micromeris and then to the right hand side the slightly larger one Epithelantha micromeris neo-mexicana. So this one is Turbinicarpus panerotoi. Wow, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely love this one. And then the last one, Tabinicarpus Pulaski. Oh, beautiful. Wow. Absolutely amazing spines. This one is absolutely amazing. Look at that. So I'm in the middle of repotting my new cactus plants and I just thought I'd quickly film this. Um, I've just found three more fruit seed pods here, but I don't know whether they belong to the Epithelantha micromeris or Epithelantha micromeris neo-mexicana. I can't remember which bag this belonged to because I was just about to empty the soil away into the bin and then I thought, oh, I better check the bags. And um, yeah, I found these three in here as well. So that's in total with the other two that I showed you earlier on in the video. That's an extra three fruit pods here. So I don't know whether I should just keep them separate or just put them all together. But anyway, just thought you'd be interested to see that. So I've not really been showing the repotting on this video, but I'm sorting out the labels. I've got the plants here. And I've got two more left here to clean up and I've got the others drying on a rack. So I just use a rack like this and um, I've washed them all in water and run them under the tap and then I'm drying them instantly over my dehumidifier which is currently running which you can probably hear in the background. So I sit this over the top of the fan and um, it dries it really fast because it expels warm air so it's drying the roots and the body of the cactus really quickly because I don't want them to sit in water for too long. I want them to fast dry so I can pot them up straight away. So I've still got two more left to do, but I just came across those fruit pods. And I just thought I'd add that in onto the video. So you can see in both of these Epithelantha cactus, they're now starting to push up more flowers. So the Epithelantha micromeris on the left has two flowers that I can see and the Epithelantha micromeris neo-mexicana on the right has three flowers that I can see. So thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope you've enjoyed seeing all of the Turbinicarpus and the Epithelantha and it's inspired you to go out and buy a Turbinicarpus. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, do consider subscribing. You can click down below on the red subscribe. It will turn to grey so you know you have subscribed. And do check out my channel, Cactus Cove. Okay then, bye! Thank you.